Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Action Figure Friday where we like to check out some cool action figures, take a look at their sculpts, their molds, their paintwork, their articulation, and their overall fun factor. And today we're here with something slightly different. It's not Star Wars, it's Star Trek. Look, I said it right. I'm gonna warn you right now, I have a tendency to call it Star Trek or at least kind of slur my words where it says, sounds like Star Trek, I'm gonna apologize in advance. I'm probably gonna say that, but I'm trying to say it right up front. Star Trek. <laughs> so we do have these McFarlane toys of Captain James T. Kirk, Mr. Tiberius himself, and of course, Captain John Luck Pickard. Um, <laughs> so Mary and I finally started watching Picard last night. We, and we were supposed to work, and after first episode, I was like, nope, screw that. We gotta just watch Picard all night. And we got through uh, the first half of the season. By the time this video comes out, we will have seen all of it. I just went and ordered the Blu-rays of Next Generation because I'm in a huge Star Trek mood and I'm anxious to check these out. I bought these a long time ago at a Walgreens. I got them for like 20 bucks. It looks like they're going fairly expensive nowadays. I'm not a huge fan of McFarlane toys. I think in general, his sculpts are really good, but they always feel a little cheap or the articulation's bad. And I've been waiting to open these forever because as you're gonna see here in just a second, there were supposed to be more, and I think the whole thing got canceled and they never made any more, which is a real shame. So we're gonna start off with the classic James T. Kirk. And, uh, you know, it shows you a little bit. He's got some cool accessories. We do get a changeable hand. We might try them. These are seven inch figures. And yes, I was excited to get a Michael Burnham and of course the classic Spock. Um, but apparently all that stuff got canceled, which is unfortunate because I'd like to see some Discovery figures. And hear me out. I totally understand why Star Trek purists do not like the modern CBS Star Trek. It does feel more like Star Wars and the Battlestar Galactica reboot, but you know what? That's why I love the modern <laughs> Star Trek reboot. So I'm very sorry. Um, that was very close. I'm very sorry that it's not what y'all wanted, but um, you know, I enjoy it. So I'm a happy camper about it. But I can, like I said, I can totally understand your frustrations with it. That said, maybe you really liked Picard. I don't know. I'm loving it so far and I can't wait to see more of all of it. All right, so we're gonna pop this out. At least this was fairly easy to deal with here. And whoops, I'm trying not to, well, I'm gonna see if I can leave the bubble intact for the thumbnail. And we'll pull Mr. Kirk on out. And we'll close that up in the, in the side here. And all right, so he's packaged pretty interestingly. Just some cheap little scotch tape holding the base in. Let me get that out of the way, maybe. It doesn't like that I called it cheap, so it's gonna be a pain. And is this uh No, oh, it's one of these. It's not a twist tie and not a anything else. So I gotta get in here, and this is where I could definitely use some other scissors. Don't tell Mary. <laughs> she know she she hears that she's right enough. She doesn't need to hear me say I'm right about my scissors being crappy. <laughs> Come on. Okay, why is that not coming out? Oh, it's taped. Crap. All right, fine, fine, fine. We got a bunch of tape in here, so let's uh, start working that out. Jeez. All right, don't do this at home, kids. I'm not doing this in a very smart or safe way. God, how much tape do they use? Jeez. All right, let me get up under there if I can without destroying any of the toy itself. Okay, we got that. All right, that one just came undone. No more there, got some over the phaser. All right, now we should be able to get everything out. Oh, geez, it just now just falls out. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I do wish he would have come with a triple. That could have been very, very cool. Triple, triple, triple. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, it's not a setting on an audio console. <laughs> All right, so we get the extra hand, which I guess is for, a little big for the phaser, so I guess this one is actually for that. Okay, yeah, it feels like it's for that. Um, we get the communicator. A real detail in the back. It does not fold. That's kind of a shame. That'd be neat if that actually collapsed in. We get the vintage phaser. So a little bit of pretty nice detailing going on there. You can just hear the sound effect, can't you? I can. And we get the pulse rifle, and that spins, so that's pretty cool. I like it. It's got that vintagey color scheme of the actual prop from the show, so I appreciate that quite a bit. And you got the stand. It does have a kind of slight little Star Trek thing in there. Looks like only one peg. All right, so let's look at the actual figure. You know, he looks a lot better out of the package. In the package, it looked a little off, but that does look like a really great head sculpt for the original James D. Kirk, except that neckline, I don't know. Something about that is just a little off-putting. The shirt looks good. 
badge is, looks pretty good, but it does look like maybe it had, like the paint came off to the side a little bit. The cuffs, I don't know, they could be a little more defined in their paint. I don't know why he's got two buttholes. I think that's kind of a bad thing. I do like the shininess of the boots. All right, but let's see how this thing articulates. So the head does move, but not by a lot. And of course it will turn side to side. Shoulders are hinged and ball jointed, so you can get some decent range in there. Although what is going on with that? I don't know. Uh, ball jointed hinged elbows. Actually, those aren't bad. They look pretty good. Uh, is there any rock, paper, scissors? There seems to be no rock, paper, scissors on the hands. Maybe just, oh, just very, very minuscule amount, but they do twist. No upper chest. Seriously, there's no waist articulation? There feels like there's a tiny, tiny bit, but like not that's really gonna stay. That's unfortunate. All right, he can come out and do awkward splits in a way he probably shouldn't. And let's see, the legs will kick all the way up and most of the way back, but they do not twist at the upper. Ah, single jointed knee that just about caught me. Not bad looking, not great. Looks kind of almost like a gear style in there. You see the little bits. And you do get a twist at the knee, so he can definitely batootsy for you. <laughs> Uh, no more twists down here where you'd think you'd get some. Get a little bit of range of motion in the feet. They do twist and go a little side to side. And you do get, oh, you only get one foot peg anyway, so you know what foot you have to peg it in. That's kind of strange. Also, this is at an odd angle. Like, like, look at how, like, that's a straight leg and then that feels like that actually goes out. That's really awkward. And even how, like, just wants to twist in. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like that could be better. Put the communicator in the hand, maybe. I assume it was supposed to go in this hand. This looks like a communicator hand. Is it, hmm. Yeah, see, I mean, this is what I'm saying. It's like the practical side of McFarland stuff is just never that good. Okay, you go in like that, you can get him to hold it a bit better. Just go ahead and put the regular phaser in here and I'll feel like dealing with his uh, hand exchange. We might do a hand exchange on Picard just to see how easy these go. That does not want to go in there easily. Oh, it's a tight, tight fit. Okay, and then let's get him on a stand here. Just get the foot in there. We'll kind of pose him a little bit. Okay, so there you go. There's your Captain Kirk. It's pretty good, it's not great, but it's pretty good. I mean, again, he looks really good, I think. All right, now let's check out Picard. Let's see if we can do this a little bit faster too, because I didn't mean to quite take so long on this. And I do love that he comes with the flute. So I think that's awesome. And now we gotta go through all this crap again. Just no real good way of doing this. I guess you could just flat out tear into this, but you know, I like to have the packages for the thumbnail before I throw them away. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, and got it. All right. So we're gonna get that out again, pull him out, try to preserve that box a bit. Put it to the side, and we know what we're dealing with now. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> I mean, some of that may just be because I've had these figures for like a year and a half. Okay, and we, now we this time we know there's actually tape. Lots of tape, too much tape. Jeez. Heck is the end of it? There it is. All right, let's get this part. Almost taped back down on me. And go from that side. And hmm, it's real tight on him here. You'd honestly think it was tighter on Shatner. <laughs> All right, pushing the things out, trying not to break things. Mm. 
the flute almost wanted to break in there. So be careful of getting the flute out if you have these. Okay, put that aside. Get this out of the way. And we have his engage hand, which is pretty cool. We have his phaser. I kind of honestly forgot this is what the next generation phasers look like. I did have a toy of this when I was a kid that I really liked. And we have his flute. I don't remember exactly what it's called or anything, but that's a nice little touch. And of course you got the stand, like you've seen. All right, so the head looks pretty good from certain angles. It's not the best, most accurate looking card. It's not terrible. Outfit looks pretty good. Badge looks pretty well painted. He's also got the two buttholes. The holes don't go in the cheek, Todd. <laughs> All right, pretty much same in the articulation, not a lot on the head. Shoulder, yeah, a little stiff too. Elbow looks all right. This one actually has some, so maybe the other one was just stiff. Some rock, paper, scissors. Again, no chest or waist articulation, that's weird. He looks more accurate doing the Van Dam than Kirk does. Legs go up, legs go back. He's got a little bit more articulation than Kirk. Um, that is going back in. So slightly softer rubber for moving that back. And again, uh, the knee twist there, the knee bend's kind of weird. You're going to get less maneuvering out of his feet because of the soft rubber coming down over his pants, or his pant legs coming down over his boot. So there's really very, very little articulation in the feet on him. All right, so let's see. Is it that hand? It's going to be that hand. Let's see how easy or difficult this is. Mmm. Mmm already very difficult. <sighs> Come on. Jeez. I'm going to break him. I can tell I'm going to break him. <sighs> I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> I don't want to I don't want to chance this breaking. I'm sorry. So let's give him his flute piccolo maybe. I don't know that it's supposed to go in that hand. Uh, you know, no. That was the right hand I was trying to do. I'll try it one more time. I just Nope. Damn. All right, well, that's not happening. So can we get the phaser in this hand? Or was that what the other hand is for? I mean, you can kind of get the phaser in this hand, but it's going to be... It's weird. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be the case. <laughs> the flute will just fall through, I imagine. Mm, not really. Actually, you can kind of get the flute in there. But you can't get the flute up to his mouth. You can almost get it to his mouth. I'm DJ Picard and I'm here to say... Okay, that was dumb. And that hand comes off incredibly easily. I wasn't even trying to get that hand off. What the crap? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, McFarlane does good sculpts, but not quality figures. All right, let's just put them on the pedestal. I'm, just, I'm sad, though, because this is the one I want, want to stand. I wanted, This is the one I wanted to be actually, like, really cool. But there you go, there's your Picard. Could be much better. Kirk was the better of the two. And there you have it, there's the McFarlane. Obviously we now see why they were canceled. Star Trek figures. <laughs> Hopefully somebody can get a good license or a good company can get a license for this and we get some really good stuff again. I know there was for a while, I think, right? Didn't Diamond select you some good stuff? Well, let me know, geek out with me in the comments. What do you think? What's your favorite Star Trek? Did you love Picard? Are you looking forward to more? What's some other stuff you want to see? I'm excited for that uh, Strange New World show because Anson Mount's Pike was awesome. Let me hear it. Geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can give me that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement if you want to. I do love to be encouraged. And of course, now I'm going to get out of here so I can open up some more stuff. And I'll talk to you all later, all right? Engage. Engage.